That man had a family. <laughs> Why would you do that? That man had a family. <laughs> they were probably at the game watching. Good morning. What's good, YouTube? How's it going, guys? Uh, Studio B21, back again. Right guy over here. This is Chef Nino. And the sexiness. Just a little. Just Sex. a tiny bit. And Nino, another year is done. Another NBA season has come and gone. I would like good to times, say congratulations to the Boston Celtics yeah, for yeah. winning their championship and proving that the salary cap is a figment of our fucking imagination. Quality team, though. Quality team. team. Wow. Brown, Tatum, Porzingis, Adris Al Horford, apparently. <laughs> oh, man. Like, who would have got? Who would have thought? Good, good chemistry, and they they fired their head coach the year before. Yeah. And, you know, it just. Just speaks to the quality of their organization. And to go with it, Jalen Brown, like Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, both have three hundred million dollar contracts now. Good for them. Insane. Good for them. But we thought that I thought so on X, aka Twitter, there is an account uh, named Rob Perez, aka at Worldwide Wob. Wob. Wob, not Woj. Wob. And every year at the end of the season, he is a massive highlight guy, and he puts out essentially the year in review. So we are going to reminisce of everything this season has brought us. Scroll down memory lane. A little scroll down memory lane for you guys. And while we're at it, don't forget, if you want to scroll down with us, don't forget to like and subscribe and scroll down to our videos see what yeah. see what you like scroll down the comments let us know what you want to see check, check out what this playlist right here Ooh. or this playlist right here even the cooking playlist right here Ooh, that one's good that is good Ooh. in the 2023 wonder who's gonna draft, be the san antonio spurs select victor wimbanyama <laughs> Let's just start off. Um, Victor Wembanyama, overall first pick, unanimous first pick. Granting. Like, granting. Seven foot guy Seven from four. France. And the agility, like. The shoots, the handles. It was astounding. It's unheard of. He's just a generational player that's been used a lot, but this is truly. Truly generational. Generational. And. Him showing off in his first game, dunking on Duncan Robinson, like he's so surprised. We said it again. Daryl Morey is a liar, and I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. But Damian Lillard is officially a member of the Milwaukee Bucks. Hand off back to Luca. Remember when Lillard was supposed to go to the Raptors? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people. A lot of people speculated we were going to get him. We but. were supposed to get Paul George. And Kawhi was supposed to stay. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, the Raptors' disappointment will be addressed later on. Yeah. Late in the shot clock. Four seconds. Got it from Kleba. Again, late in the clock. In desperation. Yay! Damn it, Caruso. Turn up the It's cold in here. The fouls that were called that game. Oh. Curry. The in-season tournament. Great concept. I remember almost getting a seizure the first time I saw these courts. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Do you like the concept of the incident? I, I, I like it. I think it's a gr I think if they made it so you got an automatic like playoff spot, that would make it even better cuz then teams would truly be fighting for it. But as long but 
There has to then be a there different would, motivation. But then there would probably be the thing of they're going to arrest a lot of their starters yeah, for the rest of the year. Yeah, because it's to get ready right in there, right? Yeah, so... I like the money motivation in there. I like the fact that everybody gets the same amount. Money makes the world go around, yeah. Right, you could be the 15th guy on the bench. And, you're getting, a, and you're getting a cool 100 grand for doing nothing? Yeah, it's like you're on, the, you're on the 10 day and it's like you happen to be there. It's just like, thank That'd you. That'd be so good. You know? Albert. This tournament really showcased. Like, yeah. And the yeah. Lakers can taste it. And AD Davis went on a roll of that tournament. In front of the Laker fans. Give me my money, he said. Congratulations. 7-0 and oh, once again to the champions of the inaugural NBA in-season tournament. Do you think they really need a banner, though? I think it It's inaugural, I get it, but... You want to make it a thing. Yeah. And uh, I really dislike the concept. I really, I was like, why even bother type deal? But I understand it. Yeah, I understand it. Like we said, it needs to be tweaked. Your Los Angeles Lakers. Here we go. While you were I give it the same level as the bubble from the NBA, the Clippers acquiring James Harden from the Sixers. You know, I'm not, I'm not an assistant player. I am assistant. And you're going to go back home and you're going to start swiping right for another team. And there's not going to be anybody left. Because, James, you're not the beard. You're not the system. You're the problem. Tell me how you really feel, though. <laughs> Good word, sir. Wow. But in all fairness, I agree with him. Yeah. Like, James Harden. Think about what he's been on. Okay, see Houston Rockets with Russell Westbrook, like, that could have been a really great team if not for 27 missed fucking threes in a row. Yeah. Like, they could have gone all the way. With, with Chris Paul in that team, right? Brooklyn Nets with the supposed big three. Like... Kyrie and Durant. Kyrie Durant and a quarter of Ben Simmons, apparently. Mm -hmm. Who, once again, has scammed $40 million for doing nothing. So, that's another topic yeah and Philly with Joel Embiid wow he's been on like four to five amazing teams perennial MVP candidate yeah Joel Embiid so yeah it's I completely agree like sooner or later like and all the stories about him as well like holding back the team from like traveling because he wanted to go to a strip club one night and all that yeah, he's not Dennis Rodman. He's, he's not Dennis Rodman, but he's trying. Maurice. 50 burger. All of a sudden, Gobert comes in, and Draymond's like, no, no, no. Oh, Draymond. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Chill out. And then... Yeah, we, we kind of forgot about the whole Draymond thing as well this year, huh? Oh, my God. The fact that he still gets to play astounding. is astounding. You know? Raymond, he, he headlocked Gobert there. This week, the NBA suspended Golden State Warriors forward Draymond Green five games for putting another player in a chokehold. Here to comment is Draymond Green. Okay, so you are sorry. <laughs> Hell no. Uh -oh. <laughs> I can't wait to do it again. <laughs> is he wrong, though? Ooh. Oh, man. Well, that's going to be a flight grab. Oh, you think? Ah, uh, Coach Paul. This class. Damn. Bang. Alright, thanks guys, congrats. Go ahead, Bert! Got that dog in him! Oh, it's here! I don't know what to say about this. Oh, pretty. Okay. 
Ah! <laughs> oh, he's the Joker. Bang! Disgusting. How? Chris Paul versus Scott Foster. What a rivalry for the ages. Yeah. Like, oh, good lord. Apparently, they've sat down and talked about this, but like, they still get it. They still get the hell into it every time Scott Foster go- refs a Chris Paul here. So, like, we've done the Jonte Porter thing. They're like, this guy has to be betting against Chris Paul. Oh, yeah. Like, oh yeah, where, where everything? Scott Foster is like the Skip Bayless of Skip of Chris Paul haters. <laughs> <laughs> They're both two old white men who just hate for a living. The thing is, with the NBA, everything could be a foul. Everything yeah, is so touchy, and there's that subjectiveness to it. And when you don't like a guy, it's like you're gonna oh. call it more and more. Oh. That's 30 bucks there. I got you, I got you. I'm watching you right now. Alright, alright, you shoot, you shoot it right now. Oh, what an air ball. That was an absolutely horrendous performance from start to finish. Um, that was a masterpiece of dog shit. Props to the Jazz coach for saying it as it is. You get a fifty, you get a fifty burger put on your team. Can't crack hundred points. It's pretty dog shit. Yeah, pretty accurate. what he's going to do about it. Did he both get tossed? No, just the coach. Mm. And this was John Morant's game back. Keep in mind that we also forgot that John Morant spent the first, like, 35 games suspended for the gun shit. For waving a gun around on Instagram Live? Yeah. Oh. That was his first game back. It's oh, okay. the game winner. Oh, nice. Holy shit. Like, it's like he never left. defensively although in this building you can't hear anything because it's like a club it's like a it's like a south beach club out there what are we doing can we just have a basketball game anymore what the hell in this building you can't hear anything because it's like a club it's like a it's like a south beach club it's just this thumping techno club music Leave ahead that tip by Moonley, but Dodgers gets it back. Dodgers dumps inside Washington, puts it in. Two seconds left. The Cavs are out of timeouts. They have to go 94 feet. Struce from midcourt. Bang! Money. Do you believe this? We've got breaking news from the NBA, which has handed down a lifetime ban on John Tate Porter for violating the league's gambling rules. The league said an investigation revealed that while playing... You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it right now. So, this was our first actual video we put out as Studio B21 on John Tay Porter gambling. And it's so surreal to me that this has happened within a year and the growth we've had on the channel. So, amazing for that. You can check out the video over here. Yep. In the in the top right corner. Yeah. Um, we would actually like to say that the day we're recording this, it's actually come down that he is going to... He potentially faces, like, four years in prison wow. for doing this and pleading guilty. He's pleading guilty for it. He could go to prison for four years. Yeah, because he did it. And yeah. Like, why? You're getting paid millions of dollars. You're Michael Porter Jr.'s brother, NBA champion, millionaire, 
and you feel the need to get, like we said in the first video, initial 20 grand. Another 20 grand? But why? You fucked you, you fuck yourself, boy. You're you fucked idiot. up, man. You're an idiot. For the Raptors, Porter disclosed confidential oh. information to betters. There, there's going to be a, a good bet we're going to put out for the next season. Oh, yeah. So stay, stay tuned to the end of the video. Limited is playing time for betting purposes and bet on NBA games. 38. No! Coach for this, the assistant coach for the Pacers, maybe make sure he's going to get it. What happened? Oh no! Oh my god! Get back, get back, get back! It was a miracle. Still a two possession game, Pistons rolled out of bounds. The losing streak reaches 27 consecutive games. Detroit's 27 game losing streak. Only to be ended four, by the Raptors. Four in like 28 by New Year's. And there was actually a major bet going on on like the gambling sites that they wouldn't win another game in the year, like before the New Year. And guess what, guys? The longest streak in a single season. <laughs> The absolute worst call of the season. No call. And enough's enough. If that's, if that's the case, just let us know so we don't show up for the game. Just give them a win. But that, that was not fair tonight. And this is not happening first time for us. Scotty Barr. I remember this. This was against the Lakers. And they took literally like 25 foul shots. In the fourth quarter. In the fourth quarter. Yeah. When we were up by like 20 going yep. into the fourth. Like, it was astounding. He's gonna be all-star. He's gonna be the face of this league. And what, what's happening over here during whole season, I've been holding it back. It's a complete crap. 5.2 left. No timeouts left for the Bucks. Here comes Dane. Game time. Three seconds. Dane. Money time, Dane time. I hope he gets a ring. I hope so. You know what? I'm glad he's on the box. Seventy. Uh, God vote. Sorry, this was, this was we, a two-week span. This was this was a two-week span, but to see seventy in our lifetime in today's day and age in competition, astounding. And it happened twice, if I remember. The, 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 the Luka Don, got Don, it. Donovan Mitchell in the next night. It was Luca and Donovan in the next in the same night, I think. Yeah. Which yeah. I think is this. Yeah. 72. Yeah. Then there was like a bunch of fifties. Sacramento, yeah. and he's going to be waived. And now he's just—he's not even watching the game, Jim. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Brunson. Forty for Brunson. He's at the back this year too. That's what happens when you talk shit. Big, big shout out to Sabrina, Sabrina Ionescu for that competition. Like, to go mano a mano against Curry, the GOAT the three goat. pointer shooter, the goat. and for her to get more points than about 90% of that three point competition mm -hmm. people did, amazing. It shows that there is a bright spot for women's basketball. You guys see Caitlin Clark in our, the next NBA? Yeah. The All-Star game, I mean? They want to do a double. They want to do a double of, like, her and Caitlin Clark, yeah. Yeah. I think it should happen. The greatest shooter the game has ever seen. Are we ready for breaking news? Yeah. Um, 
We have news in from CNN. They are reporting. From CNN Sports. From CNN Sports that Doc Rivers has accepted the Milwaukee Bucks head coach. Out of nowhere. Out of fucking nowhere. Adrian Griffin was the number one fucking. He had the number one record. Bat. Oh my god. What a block. And only had one shot attempt in that first half. Another turnover for Utah. Edwards gets it back. And threw it down. That man had a family. <laughs> Why would you do that? That man had a family. <laughs> they were probably at the game watching. Oh my god. Looking in for Irving. Irving for the win! Oh, wow! A south finish from the hook shot finish. I wanted the Dallas to win so bad. Which is Anthony Brady. One from Arkansas, the other from Kansas. It's changing. I love this. Okay. Well, just laugh, Mary. Let, the, bo let the boys be boys. Yeah. Oh, Grady. Yeah, it's a, it's a jersey exchange. It's a jersey exchange. Like um, I don't, I don't get why they, I don't, I don't get why they got in trouble for this. Yeah, you know, it's like they went to the same school. They, they know each other. They're yeah, friends. yeah, they're, they're, they're homies, right? So. You know, they play in the NBA together. It's just like, wow, you gotta be proud. Like I. I just want to know, like, when's he going to do the exchange with Kevin Love? When's he's going to do the exchange with uh, Harden? Like, you know. Harden. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe even he can do, like, a inter-team exchange with his new teammate, Bruce Brown. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. It works. It works on so many levels. New jerseys. Oh. No! Oh, oh, oh Jordan. Boston, maybe the blowout Boston game, and I forget how that first half went, but that first half of basketball, Milwaukee played, was flawless. Eight second violation. Eight second violation. Wow. Na 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 na. This guy's lost too. Oh, huge individual. I've oh, seen him go to the. Physically intimidated me. I've seen him go to the, to the bus. When yeah, so, backstory for when me and Nino were working at Scotiabank Arena for the Raptors, in the kitchen, uh, during the semifinal against Philly in our championship season, I got to see Philly come off the bus as they were going into the game, and. When I say that Boban Marjanovic physically intimidated me with how freakishly tall that man is. I'm 6'3". He is a full foot and like, it feels like a foot and a half taller than me. It was scary to see. But he is one of the nicest people in the league, apparently. Yeah, just overall. Like, he's a great puppy. Individual. I love him. I wish him nothing but the best in his career. Every time I've seen him, he's smiling, he's laughing. When yeah. I've seen him, he was just laughing all the way to the bus. And it was just like, huge. Truly. Huge individual. Great player, greater person, probably. True. So, True. Well said. amazing person, Bobon. We love you. Here's your job. Oh, he gave him chicken. He's a man of the people. So you are the NBA's Kia MVP. Congratulations. He's through. <laughs> He's through. 1030 in Southern Speaking California, we have some breaking news. A former NBA MVP turned legendary broadcaster, uh, Bill Walton, has died. We have incredibly important news, and I'm too. sorry to the be logo. the one to tell you. The logo. One of the greatest figures in the history of American sports, one of the greatest players, and one of the most important people in the history of basketball in this or any country has died. Jerry West has died at the age of 86. That was announced by the Los Angeles Clippers. Alrighty. Of 
39-22 advantage on the glass for the Wolves. Edwards. Damn. Yeah. Oh, it's on, ladies and gentlemen. The youth. I just want to say that that series between the Suns and the Wolves made me realize, like, that the youth movement is now mm. in the NBA. My, my time, like the players that I've grown up watching, I grew up watching Kobe Durant, uh, LeBron James, uh, Kyrie Irving, um, like all those guys, and the youth that are coming in now, they're going to take over for them. Like, in the next probably three, four years. Who you included of, the youth? Anthony Edwards, Scotty Barnes, uh, Chet Holmgren. Um, Luca in there? Luca. Um, now Wemby as well. Like Wemby, oh my God. Wemby's a phenom. Oh my God, this guy. It's scary to me to see that the youth are taking over, and now I feel like... I'm going to be turning into one of those old heads at the barber shop. You know Back I mean? in my day. Like, literally those people doing the fucking LeBron versus Jordan debate, and now it's going to be LeBron versus Wemby or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or, like, Steph versus Wemby, like, over shooting. That's, a th that's crazy. It's, it's so crazy, crazy to think about. Hartstein gets it out to Ananobi. DiVincenzo a three. Boom! Boom. Money. Money. I, I don't know if you were screened or what happened on that last play. Jamal Murray made a shot. He's pissed. Back what do you think Brunson. happened? Wasting time. Brunson. Brunson. 45 for Jalen Brunson. And a six-point Knicks lead. I'm disgusted. Disgusted at what? They, all those Knicks fans there. This Philadelphia is a 200 mile up. Up. It's 100 I miles away. I don't give a damn. You, you, we're the Philadelphia 76. You can't have them people in your building making all that noise. Sounds like a Anthony Edwards delivers. The DX. The DX. It appears, we don't know the circumstances, but it certainly appears he crossed the line. Oh, he's got. Oh. Remember we made a video on this one as well, my good sir. Yes, yes we did. Oh my it's goodness, what a disgusting. year! What a year it's been. Oh. What a year! So if you want to see that video, up in the top right corner. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's laid in the head. That throws a ball in the stands. Get that and head he gets the ball lady. back, and he fires it back. Oh, he gone. Here, excuse, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. You subscribe to my pod. Do I support you? I do not. So I'm, I, you can't interview me then. If I got to hear one more praise about Boston on national TV, when we win a game, I'm tired of hearing that, man. It's 1-1. We're going to go up 2-1. See you later, people. Celebrating. 4-1 Boston. A round one victory. Uh. Is that Jimmy trolling? Or is that Jimmy serious? You know, if you're not on the court playing against Boston, around the court playing against the New York Knicks, you should keep your mouth shut. Uh, we were open shot, so uh, just our sharing the ball and our energy was great. What do you think? Uh, okay. Um. How was that? That was someone's phone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in front of me now. Right in front of my cream. Uh, why this series ain't coming back to Minnesota? Number one, the big Frenchman is sitting on that podium speaking his native language. We, we, we need to do this. You, you, you need to get a stop. Did you really tell the locker room staffer in Denver you were going to be back for Hell games? yeah. They know I was in there. Yeah, I told them. I said, I see y'all motherfuckers for game seven. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Love the confidence of this youthful generation. This is what we need in the NBA. You need the confidence. The brashness of them. It's amazing yeah. to see. <laughs> I have not been to Minnesota in probably 20 years. Bring your ass. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Halliburton double team, shot clock at four. Nemhart's got to put it up. Step back. His three pointer. Oh! Nemhart knocks the 
Wow. I'm calling Dante MVP right now. That's a great bet. He deserves it. Dallas oh, has yeah. taken the lead. Take him trying to get free. Throw it in the corner. Brown fakes, fires up the three. Bang! Bang! More beer. <laughs> I just want to point out as well, in the finals, the first two games, the revival of poor Zingod, the fucking unicorn from New York. The unicorn, the, the, the boo master. It's like, what the hell? Like, I get it. You were on Washington and you came to Boston, but truly, there's something about the NBA finals that wakes people the fuck up. Like... It's at that point you kind of just like give up at that point. Yeah. Like it's if all those shots are going in, like what can you do? It's like um uh... ends tonight here. It's over. Time to say it again, Boston. Anything's possible. Batter number 18 has been secured. The Celtics are NBA champions. The 2024 Bill Russell Finals MVP goes to Jalen Brown. MVP, but not part of the NBA. Uh, but not part U USA team. Yeah, but not part of a USA team, huh? Yeah, not not good enough for Team USA. I know, like not good enough for Nike, I guess. Oh, uh, oh, oh, wait, <laughs> they're involved somehow. Yeah, I, oh. I bet maybe mm. so. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, that amazing video, year in review, great one, season. Once again, congratulations to the Boston Celtics. Like, well deserved. Us, great organization, top to bottom. Eighteen banners. Wow! Wow! You no, know, we're happy with the one. Yeah, well, it's a start. You know, we'll, we'll match it one day. Just like when we were on our prime, they were on the bottom dwellers. They built themselves up. We should be on the road to that. We got some good building blocks here. I agree. You know. So, um. What was, uh, you were saying earlier in the video, you have a bet that you were speaking about to start this new well, season. Well, there's a couple of good bets I, I have my eye on. I, I like, I like Luca as MVP. I think that's great. Yeah, I like Brody James scoring at least 25 points in any game at 3,000 to 1. Wow, so one dollar will get you three hundred dollars. One dollar will get you thirty dollars. Wow. So yeah. Thirty to one odds. Yeah. On in an eighty-two game season, that's not bad. With uh, showcasing with his dad and you know, you how, know the, how the reps are really fair. You know, and it's not scripted at all. You know, his dad will definitely be dishing to him a lot. Yeah, the fact that he's very terrible in the summer league doesn't mean anything. Yeah. At, at the fact that. These refs, uh, you know, don't influence the game at all. I want to... My predictions for next season, I like the Luka MVP. I think I think it's a pretty sizable bet. I want to say Joel Embiid for MVP because it's probably a long shot, but if he can stay healthy and his knees don't give out, you saw it. He was the front runner this past year before yeah. his knee gave out and he had to sit for 30 games. He still could have won if it was in the old system. Exactly. Yeah. It's astounding. Um, for championships, it's, 
I don't want to say it, but I I want to say Boston might have a repeat year. Yeah, because they didn't lose they've any signed key a lot. Pieces. They haven't. They, I don't think they've lost any, to be honest with you. Right. Plus, they have their Jalen Tatum, like. Jalen Tatum, yeah. It's just like it's hard to compete with that. It is. If if New York stays healthy, and Van Lube stays healthy, I could see them doing a big run on them. One hundred. With Cat Minnesota. Minnesota and in the Twin Towers. It's there. it's hard it's hard for me to gauge that because they've got such spurtful, they've got such energy. But the Western Conference itself. Oh my God, SGA coming out of there. Okay, He's a dark well, horse for MVP too. You know what? I might change my bet. OKC for championship because all the draft picks they still have. And they still have. I love what they did with that. Where they like. Where they just. We're going for. A, they home run. Hoarded, like dragons hoard of first round <laughs> draft picks. They didn't go for the safe bet each and every time. It's like, we want a home run each and every time, and if it doesn't pan out, we got we, we got ten more picks. We got another pick. But home run, home also, run, home run, home the run. The fact that it may be Wemby's second year, but it's going to be Chet Holmgren's third year, and he set out his entire first year. He was making waves as a center, like. Truly, the rookie of the year, we knew it was going to go to Wemby, but he gave legitimate Ooh. competition. Ooh. Ooh, the fact that no one gave him love is just like the, we got injured that first year. Yeah. Like, oh. He truly has a lot to prove. He is the dark horse in my eyes. But yeah, like, most improved? Most improved? That could go. That could be anyone, to be honest with you. All it takes is one bench player really. like well that's six man but starter you know what it's hard I gotta give love to Scotty yeah I Scotty think, Barnes our I think boy Scotty if he could figure out a way to carry the Raptors to like a winning season I think we have a chance most approved we go to him yeah you know just to get people talking about the Raptors again which is a big deal with the NBA if Scotty could like Average his 25 with 10. Yeah. And pile on eight assists there, then it'll be good. But yeah. Um, but what a year, guys. A year. Comment your favorite comment your favorite moment down below. Um, and really, like, thank you guys. It's so good to just, oh, excuse me, relax and, like, look back at the year we've had and, like, where we where we even started from, like, doing the John Tay Porter video. Yeah. And all that. It's been a journey. It's been a journey. So yeah, be kind to you, be kind to others. Bye guys. Love you.